All right, so I'm starting with my denim fabric. Um, you want to make sure that you're using non-stretch fabric for this project because if you don't, if you use stretchy fabric, then the skirt might come out too big. So I'm just laying down all my pattern pieces. Um, you can find how I made these pattern pieces by watching the first part of this tutorial. Um, and I'm just tracing it. I wanted to show you guys that I flipped that front part of the skirt just so that I could have two separate um, front part panels, I guess, if that makes any sense. Um, and I just transferred all of my notches and I added a half inch seam allowance to the side and the top. And then for the bottom, I added a one inch seam allowance. Um, and these are the waistband pieces and these are the back pattern pieces. Um, and I added a one inch seam allowance to the bottom and then a half inch seam allowance to the top, as I said before um, so I just cut out the pieces and I have a link to this rotary cutter and cutting mat in the description box if you're interested in getting one for yourself um, so these are the waistband pieces here and I'm just sandwiching the two center front um, waistband pieces on top of the back um, waistband piece and then really quickly I have to give a huge shout out to Maya thank you so much Maya for suggesting this tutorial Maya hit me up on Instagram and she also submitted a request form on my website and she asked me to make this skirt which is so brilliant because I love it and I've been seeing it no lie I've been seeing this skirt everywhere i just want to let you guys know that if you ever have any requests or ideas for things that you'd like me to make a tutorial on just instagram me or send me an email or you can just leave a comment down below or you can submit a request through my website send a bird send a plane i want to make sure that these tutorials that i make for you guys are based on things that you actually want to like make and wear and be cute in so let me know what you want me to make a tutorial on. <laughs> okay, let's get back to this tutorial. Ow! And then I just did a straight stitch along the side seams where the seam allowance line is. And then I searched the outside of the remaining fabric after I did that um, straight stitch. The next thing I did was I closed up the darts on the um, back panels. So in order to do that, I just drew a straight line down the center of the dart. And then I folded the dart and made sure that that line was on the fold of the fabric. So if you see here, you can see the line right along the, the crease of the fold. So that makes that helps us to make sure that the dart is gonna be sewn evenly. So once I pinned it down, I just stitched right along the um, dart line. And then I repeated the same thing for the other pattern. So here you can see the stitch and you can see that it's even on both sides and this is what it looks like on the front of the fabric. And here you can see I repeated the same step. So this is what the two pieces look like. Um, then the next thing I did was I took the two back patterns and I um, stacked them on top of each other with right sides facing. And then I just stitched along that um, center seam line, center back seam line. So here it is, that's what it looks like after I did the stitch. And then when I open up the fabric, you can see that this is what it's going to look like. So the next thing I did was I just searched that raw edge um, outside of the seam allowance stitch. So here I am doing that. <laughs> um, and then I just cut my fabric and this is what it looks like with the nicely cleaned serged edge. I'm gonna open up the fabric to just show you what it's gonna look like. And then for decor decorative purposes, I decided to do a top stitch with white thread um, just cause I thought it would really like bring out the back of that skirt to make it look more stylish. And you could actually do another um, stitch on the other side, but that's if you want to. Then I took my center front piece and my side front piece and I sandwiched them on top of each other with right sides facing. And I made sure that the notch marks um, lined up on both sides of the pieces. And then I just stitched along the seam allowance line. Thank you. 
and this is what it looks like and then I just open it up here to show you that the notch marks are lined up um, and then I just serge that raw edge outside of the seam allowance line. And this is what it looks like, nice and clean and fresh. And this is what it looks like again when I open up the fabric. And then I made sure that that serged edge was laying flat and then I just did a top stitch. Um, and again, you can kind of top stitch both sides of that um, crease which I kind of wish I did, but it's okay. Then I just repeated the same step with the other two side, um, the other two front pieces, so the side front and the center front piece. So this is what it looks like, and now I have them on the wrong side facing up, and I'm just going to serge the raw edge um, along the seam allowance line, and this is what it looks like. Um, and then I just made a mark for the button placket on the front of the fabric at the top and the bottom, just so that when I fold it in like this, I can make sure that I folded the right amount. Um, and then I just use my iron to um, press it down flatly into place, so that way it'll be easy Easier to stitch and I repeated the same step with the other side of the skirt and then I just did a straight stitch right along the edge of the surged um, area and this is what it looks like on the front um, and then now I took my back panel piece and I sandwiched those two um, side front those two center front pieces onto the back panel and then I'm just going to do a straight stitch along the um, seam allowance line and so this is what it looks like with the straight stitch and when I open it up you see we have the um, full skirt and then I just searched along that raw edge on both sides of the skirt and it looks like this nice and neat and clean this is coming out so good y'all so proud of this work so the next thing I did was I double folded the hem well not the hem but I double folded the bottom and hemmed it with a straight stitch and this is what it looks like again looking so crisp I think I'm like this is something that I'm so proud of this is the project that one of the projects that I'm most proud of anyway so then I just for stylistic purposes I just added another um, straight stitch about a quarter of an inch away from the edge it's optional you don't have to do it I just want it to be cute Then I folded over the seam allowance um, on both sides of the waistband and I just pinned it down on one side for the other side I folded it down and then I just kind of ironed it so I could keep it flat and in place and I just ironed the other side as well and then I took the waistband and I sandwiched it on top of the top edge of the skirt and then I just started pinning the waistband to the top edge of the skirt pattern um, and I made sure that all of my seams were aligned but then I realized that there was something wrong because my waistband was not long enough. I literally had to kind of stretch and you can see that there are some gaps. And this is because I didn't correctly make the waistband pattern in part one, but I did address how to fix this. So check out part one of the tutorial for this. So after I stitched along the seam allowance line, this is what it looked like. And then I just clipped some notches along the raw edge just to kind of make it more flexible. Um, and then I searched the edge of the waistband. Um, and then I folded over the edge and I pressed it down so that it would stay in place. And then I folded it, the waistband in half. Um, and then I just pinned it down and then I'm going to do a straight stitch along the bottom of the waistband and that and then another straight stitch along the edge on both sides of the waistband and then this is basically what it looked like and you can see the waistband is not so straight because of that issue I had so then the final thing I did was I just positioned my buttons and then I made marks um, so that I could remember where each button hold needs to go and then I made um, parallel marks like on the other side of the skirt and I installed my buttons and that was that if you like how this skirt turned out leave yes down below in the comments until next time mwah, ciao